tell it was a buck to. bird when you shot? Yeah. <laughs> All right, bird. So yeah. we're gonna take care of this guy's scent glands. He's already starting to stiffen up yeah. a little bit. So loosen him up. Grab okay. That. So there's two scent glands. There's one on the mm -hmm. inside and the outside of his leg. So you see that thick hair, yeah. and yep. it's kind of yellow. Big bristle, yeah. That's a scent gland. It has oils that ooze out of it. If you put your nose up to it, it's smelly. And then there's uh -huh. this one. This is the, called the tarsal gland. Uh -huh. That a lot of people talk about back east for like getting bucks to come in or like they'll follow this trail but uh -huh. they rub this on their antlers and stuff and they rub it yeah. on bushes and that's how they can smell where other deer have been but if you grab that and hold on to it and then you start touching the meat it'll make it yeah, yeah. Make it, it smell bad it'll taint it make it smell like gamey when people yeah. say it tastes gamey it's usually because yeah. some of that's gotten on there so what we want to do so you can take your knife out and here why don't you try this one first just pull that up and I'll do one here. And you'll one do person's got to hold okay. the leg while the other person cuts. So I'll, I'll do one and then I'll roll it over and you can do the other one, okay? Okay. So what you want to do is not cut into this. You want to cut around the outside of it, okay? Uh -huh. All the way around. So we'll start all the way, a couple inches over from this. And you stick the blade all the way into the skin. And we'll come down, making sure we don't cut into it. We're staying outside of that scent gland the whole time. See how we cut all the way down around it, and then I'm just gonna cut a strip off there. That yep. scent gland's gonna be in the middle. Okay, so we cut this long strip here. And the reason we're wearing gloves for this part too is because we're gonna end up touching this. Yeah. And we'll trade our gloves out before we get into the deer so that we don't touch the inside of the deer and okay. the meat with that's stuff cool. that's touched this, right? Yep. Okay, so now that we've got this strip cut all the way down it, we start to peel it back just like you're skinning the hide. Uh -huh. and so, yep, so we're grabbing the scent gland, the stinky yeah. part, but again, we're going to throw these gloves away before we touch anything else. Why don't you just cut off the legs from right above them? Um, you you could and you can do that, but you can use those legs as hand yeah, oh, yeah, it makes it easier to carry and hold on to. The backpack style. Yeah, I don't know that we'll do the backpack style because because he's so big yeah. that it would probably be too heavy. But you can actually kind of see once we get this skin down a little ways. You can see the little pockets in there. We'll see how normally skin and hide when you skin it it's like blue and yeah. white inside yeah and where this scent gland is see that it's brown yeah and i actually cut just a little mm -hmm. smidgen of it right here that's brown too yeah that's where that oil it's like a gland Pop. like a lymph node and it excretes the oil through the hair where the hair's long mm. so i can hear the air sound again <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out of this. okay so you can kind of <laughs> see on here there's the brown and then there's the white, the blue hide here. So then you're out of it. And so then you're out of it. Once you're out of it, you can basically just cut it off. Okay. <laughs> just like that. So that's that scent gland. We'll just take this and it pitch it out in the bushes so we don't get it on anything. Okay. All right. So <laughs> turn them around. This and you're gonna do it, okay? Okay. Take this and we'll set this down. So we'll hold it so you're just gonna cut. Start here? Yep, so you can start. If you get on this side of me over here, okay. you're gonna stick this in and the blade's gonna go this way. So you want it to go like that, okay? Just like this, all the way down. You can feel it go under good, good. Yep. Nice. All the way to like here. Cool. 
Yep, so now you've got there, now you can come down this way. And yeah, again, keep your fingers out of the yeah. direction because that's really, really sharp. So you can, good, once you've got it like that, you can kind of pinch this, and that way you can see where you're going. And use the blade instead of the tip. The blade is what will cut it. Good. Good job, bird. Okay, you want to do the same thing on this side below the long hair. Yep, so you can stick it right into there and then go this way, the other way. So the blade would be like this, keep going okay. that way. So make sure the blade goes all the way to the skin, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so now you've done that, you can start Pull to pick out. this up and then very carefully take that blade and cut underneath the skin. So, yep, so you just go like this, little cuts. Good. And then, yep, you'll pick it up and keep peeling it back just like that. Keeping your fingers out of the way. Make strokes, you don't poke Yeah, it. so it's not sawing, usually it's like a good long That's stroke. Long strokes, good, see strokes. how that comes off like that in a good stroke? Nice. And you loosen it up on this side. Awesome. Good job, good job, okay. So this one, see how there's the brown and then there's the blue? Yep. See the difference? You want to get down so further. Yep. So you want to go just a little further on that corner. Yep. Good. And now you're into the blue, so you can cut it straight across. Good job, Micah. Peace out, nasty. Way to go. Cool. All right, you can probably stop.